today we're going to look at variation that takes place between two separate species, for example, humans and chimpanzees. And then what does the variation look like from one human to another? So you're going to have a handout that looks something like this. If you do not have this handout from class, you can print it out from Canvas. And what we're going to look at first is the genetic variation between humans and chimpanzees. So go ahead on the line and fill out chimps. And what we're trying to do is we want to look at the variation, the differences, how much of our genes differ between humans and chimpanzees. And between chimps, or between species, humans and chimps, 91% of the genome is covered. What that means is that 91% of the genome is identical, is the same. Um, the same genes are available. Now, the percent of genome, I wanted to find what genome is. So we have we know we have 23 pairs of chromosomes, and on each chromosome, uh, the chromosomes are made up of DNA, on each chromosome are genes that code for our different traits, that code for the shape of our ear, or that code for our hair color or our skin color. And um, all of the genes that we have, 91% is the same between humans and chimpanzees. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill out what the variation is. So the variation is going to be what's different between humans and chimps. What varies? Okay, so the genetic variation between these two species would be 9%. So I wrote 9% over here on the right. Now, how many dots would this be? If we have 100 dots here, because um, these dots represent, these 100 dots represent 3 billion base pairs. And so the base pairs, remember when adenine pairs with thymine and guanine pairs with cytosine, each of those are a base pair. So um, 100 dots represents 3 billion. And so 9% of our base pairs are different. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in these dots, one dot, 9% would be 9 dots out of the 100 dots. Okay, now what you are going to do in class, each uh, person at a table is going to be assigned like a species group. So birds, mammals, fish, and reptiles. And they're like the bird person is going to find four different birds and find the uh, variation. The mammal person will find four different mammals, fish person, four different fish, reptiles, four different reptiles. Um, since you are making this up at home, what I'd like for you to do is find one bird, one mammal, one fish, and one reptile. I'm going to show you what you are going to do. Okay, you're going to go to a website that's linked here, bit.ly slash genomic alignments. And you're going to be finding a species in your group. So if I'm looking for birds, I might look up a kakapo. A kakapo is a flightless bird, um, a flightless parrot, a nocturnal parrot, parrot that is found in New Zealand. So I'd click on the name, choose last Z stats for Homo sapiens, and then I'm going to find the genome coverage for the human pie chart, and I'm going to record the uncovered percentage. So the uncovered percentage, we said covered was how much you share in common. What's uncovered is how much is the variation, and you're going to fill in the dots. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. When I go to this website, I see a bunch of different species. Okay, so there's a lot of species here, a bunch of mammals, um, cats, goats, pigs, all these different things. Here's some snakes. Um, here it looks like I have some birds. I want to find the kakapo. I'm just going to do a search for it, and it's right here. So I'm going to click on the kakapo, and you'll notice that it opens up, and it has humans and chickens. Okay, remember, we want to compare kakapos to humans. And so you're going to find humans, and you're going to go to last Z, and you're going to click on stats. Now, when I do that, it's going to bring me to this page with a ton of information. 
I want to go to the pie chart that is for genome coverage between humans and kakapos. So this is the one I want to look at. Here, we can see that 3% of the gene genome is covered. That means kakapos and humans share 3% of their genes. But the number we're interested in is the variation. How much is different? So uncovered is 97%. So I'm going to go back to my slides. You're going to follow these instructions. I looked up kakapo, so I'm going to put it on the line. And um, when I went to this website and followed these instructions, I saw the genome coverage pie chart between a human and a kakapo, and uncovered is 97%. So you're going to write down 97 over here on the right, and then you need to fill in the dots. Now this is out of 100 dots, so 97% of 100 would be 97 dots. So you're going to color that in. Um, you can see here, Kakapo, he's really kind of cute. Um, now, you are going to do this for four different organisms. So one fish, one, I'll go back over here so you can see that. So it was one fish, one reptile, one bird, and one mammal. After you have looked everything up, you're going to answer three of these questions. You can write it on the back of your page. So what do you notice and what do you wonder? Which of your species shares the least genetic variation with Homo sapiens and which one shares the most? So the species would be Kakapo, for example. Then for number four, which groups share the least genetic variation with Homo sapiens the most? And then why do you think that? Now, groups would be like birds, reptiles, etc. And you only looked up one of each, but you can still answer this question um, with which group shares the least and the most. And I want you to think about why. So you might not have the correct answer, but I want you to write a why down. Why you think that. All right, next, we are going to kind of compare. Um, this chart has a little bit more information and some of the different species. So the genetic variation between humans and chimps, if we look at the percent of the genome, humans and chimps share 91% of their genome. Now, over here, we have something a little different. This is the percent of coding regions that are similar. So the coding regions, not all of our genes, not all of our DNA codes for proteins. Some of our DNA is what in the past science called junk DNA. Um, a lot of it is from our evolutionary past for they used to be traits that we no longer have. But now scientists have been discovering that they're not really junk. Some of those non-coding regions in our DNA actually code for something called RNA, ri um, ribonucleic acid, which is another nucleic acid like DNA is. And these RNA um, molecules are really important for a lot of different aspects and help in the production of making proteins, which is what our genes code for. So the percent of the coding region, this is the part that codes for proteins. And this number is higher between for all of these different species than the genome coverage. And I want you to think about why that might be. Why might the coding region have more in common between different species than the genome coverage? So for example, 52% of the genome, the entire set of DNA for humans and blue whales is 52%. But if we look at the percentage of the coding regions that code for proteins, they share 85%. You might be thinking that um, many species use a lot of the same proteins. And um, we all have kind of the same letters in DNA. And we're going to be studying protein synthesis soon. So this might uh, make a little bit more sense in the future. We'll come back and look at this. But um, a lot of all of the amino acids which make up proteins are the same. And so a lot of the proteins are needed by um, all different types of species. Now, what we're going to look at is what is the genetic variation within a species group? So if we're looking at chimps, 
98.8% of the genome is the same from chimp to chimp. So if we like look at 100 different chimps, 98% of their genome is the same. If we look at humans, if we have 100 different humans, 99.9% .9 of our genome is the same. So that just that kind of seems like a small number, 98.8 to 99.9, .9, but it actually plays a significant uh, difference. So we're going to chart that out. So what I'd like for you to do, um, notice that there's more dots. There's a thousand dots. So instead of three billion base pairs being a hundred dots, we have three billion base pairs being a thousand dots. And so we want to look for variation. And remember, this is what's the same, not what's varied. So we need to find subtract from 100 to find the variation. Okay, and you're going to fill in the dots. So go ahead and try, take a minute to try and figure this out. Do the math to figure out the numbers to fill in the chart. All right, if we're looking at humans, 99.9 .9 is shared, which means the variation or what's unique is 0.1%. Now, 0.1% of a thousand dots, okay, is going to be one dot. So for chimpanzees, 98.8% is shared. So the variation or what's unique is 1.2%. Now, 1.2% of a thousand is 12. So where is there more variation? between humans or chimpanzees. Go ahead and write this down. Write down what you think on your paper. You will not be able to discuss with the team if you're doing this at home, but write down on your paper what you think the answer is. Okay, two humans share more DNA with each other than two chimpanzees share with each other. Chimps, therefore, are more variable than humans. So if we're looking at a population of chimpanzees, there's more variety in the DNA. Our species, the reason our species is less variable is that our species expanded more rapidly with very little genetic variation. Um, chimpanzees took a long time to kind of expand their populations. Um, as populations expand, there's going to be things like mutations taking place. But with humans, we um, have been around for less time and our population expanded very quickly because of our ability to use tools and uh, build things, the Industrial Revolution, all of that sort of stuff. Um, so we haven't been able to change much over that time in terms of our DNA or our genetics where chimpanzees or other species have been around much longer and have had a longer time um, for their DNA to kind of change over time. So that's why there's more variation um, with chimpanzees than there is within the human population.